Hey everybody, it's Gina here from Gina Makes It. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am working on a spread documenting a recent trip to a forest preserve that my husband and I took on our bikes. And I am attempting to recreate the trees that I experienced that you saw in the opening of this video using some collage techniques. So the first thing that I am doing is just creating a base for my pages and I am using some old coffee dyed book pages that I had torn out of an old book and I coffee dyed a long time ago and just added to a little folder to use as I needed, which is right now. So you can see I'm really trying to get that book page into the crease because I don't want it to stick up as I'm flipping through the journal. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and trim around the perimeter of each of these pages to get a nice clean edge. Once I finish doing that, I'm going to start working on my tree fabrication. So this thought came to me when I was running a couple mornings ago and I thought, wouldn't it be neat to kind of recreate trees using paper and different sorts of textiles and so originally i was going to try and recreate the trunks using a piece of old scrapbook paper but i decided to actually use some twine as the branches because i felt like that was a better representation of the trunk and the limbs and i also liked the added texture that it added to the page so i first started by pulling out some green scrapbook paper that i wanted to use and this came from a pack that i purchased from hobby lobby last year and i just saw it there too a couple weeks ago so i know that they still have it it's a pretty basic paper pack and it has a lot of vintagey muted colors in it so i first started drawing the leaves and then i realized that i really don't need to draw this shape and so i just went ahead and i started just cutting out different sized leaf shapes from this paper as well as another piece of green paper that i pulled and i used two different greens just to create a little bit of difference and depth within the leaves themselves Once I had all of the leaves cut out, I started experimenting with the twine. And so I kind of unraveled the twine to separate it into three separate strings that was still attached to kind of one end. And so I thought that it would be nice for the tree to act like it was coming down on top. I thought that was a nice effect. And so I just added a little bit of glue into certain areas and I got that glued down and I started experimenting with the leaves that I had to see if I liked the shapes, if I liked the idea and, and if it was going to work. And once I realized that I did indeed like it, I of course needed to take those little leaves to my sewing machine to add some sewn veins to the leaves themselves. Uh, not only did that add a contrast in color, but I felt like it added an extra element that was sort of unexpected, but looked really nice once it was on the page. So at first I approached this very fussy-like and I soon told myself to stop being so fussy and to just start gluing the leaves down and sort of alternating the colors. And by doing that, I would end up with something that I liked in the end uh, without too much thought or over analyzation. And so that is what I did. And I have to say it worked out quite well. I just applied that approach of kind of alternating the sizes and the colors and it did work out really well.
Once I got all of those glued down, I decided to add this piece of coffee dyed cardstock to the bottom, just as kind of like a bottom border. I had previously printed out a couple pictures on my HP sprocket that I was going to use in this layout, and I end up only using two, not all three, because I just don't have the space, which is fine. I can use the other picture in another project uh, for something else. So I'm just trimming this little piece of paper down, and I'm going to glue it right here towards the bottom but not all the way to the bottom and then I'm going to add a picture of my husband standing among these trees and he's sort of looking up and once I finish doing that I'm going to do some journaling on a piece of postcard ephemera from my stash. Once I finish my journaling, I am going to glue it horizontally on this page. And I'm also going to add a piece of that same cardstock that I used at the bottom. I just thought it would be nice to kind of pull that in onto this page as well. And at this point, I wasn't sure if I was going to use that vertical picture of the forest or this horizontal picture of myself with my husband behind us. And I end up using the horizontal picture because I like the way it fits the space and it also is a little bit different than the other picture because those two vertical pictures are just pictures of the forest, but this one actually has me in it as well. So I decided to carry on that theme of the trees. I had a couple leftover leaves here to the side of my craft table and so I was just trying to see what they looked like over here and I liked it and so I just grabbed a piece of twine and I added it to the left of the picture and then I also glued some of the leaves around the edge. At this point I decide to write something next to that picture. It's a something I've been thinking about a lot lately and it says into the forest I go to find my heart and my soul. And I just thought that it was really representative of the way that I was feeling during this trip. As always, thanks so much for watching my YouTube channel and my videos and following along with me on Instagram. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you next time.